Nariman Beravesh, you're a chief economist at IHS Market. Um, we have a rebound in the stock market since the beginning of the year after this fallback we had uh, in the last uh, quarter of 2018. Will this rebound uh, be sustainable, do you think? I think the answer is yes. I mean, in the same sense that the market probably overshot on the upside, it overshot on the downside as well. So we'll find some kind of equilibrium. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a, I know it's scary, these, these corrections are scary, but I think we're coming back to a more reasonable valuation if you look at price earnings ratios. They're very cheap right now. Price earning ratios are below the 30 year average. So I think people are finding bargains right out there in the marketplace. So we will start to see the, you know, the market come back up a little bit, maybe not a huge amount, well, maybe not all the way to the peak, but it will come back up. Last year in Davos, you told me that the economy and the stock markets will be good for the next one or two years. Now we had this fallback in uh, last year. Were you surprised? A little bit. Um, on the other hand, uh, you know, the economies continue to do reasonably well, although slowing. Uh, the stock market, as I said, overshot. So they corrected. I think, you know, from that perspective, I think uh, it's fair to say that the sort of economy and the stock markets are more aligned right now than they were, say, six months ago. The turmoil in the stock markets, will that be one of the main topics here in Davos uh, 2019? My guess is there will be some discussion of that, but I think the bigger worries are, let's say, the slowdown in China, the slowdown in the Eurozone, especially Germany, the trade war. Those are probably going to be bigger issues to discuss. Probably also the recession will be a topic here in Davos. The last uh, uh, 12 times out of 13, um, the US economy ended up in a recession when the Fed uh, raised rates. So the probability is high that uh, this will happen again. Well, the issue here is how much is the Fed raising interest rates? In the past, especially before recessions have occurred, the Fed has raised interest rates a lot. I'm talking about six percentage points or, or higher. This time, it's been very small. You know, we've gone from zero in, in nominal terms to two and a quarter, basically. This is nothing. Inter interest rates in the U.S. are still well below where they were 10 years ago. So I would say, yes, if the Fed continues to hike rates a lot more than the recession. But so far, not yet. I would say they haven't raised rates enough to, to trigger a recession. There's also the topic of the shutdown in the U.S. For how long will it last until this uh, will weigh on the economy in the U.S.? If the shutdown lasts, let's say, through the end of January, then we think it will reduce the first quarter's growth rate in the U.S. by two to three percentage points. If it lasts much longer than that, let's say into February, then it could begin to have a much bigger impact on growth. Uh, so the longer it lasts, the bigger the impact, obviously, on growth. Nariman, are you optimistic or rather pessimistic about the economic development in 2019? Well, it depends on the country. I think in, in 2019 for the U.S., I'm cautiously optimistic. I think China, we're beginning to worry because growth is slowing down. So I wouldn't call my, our forecast optimistic about China because we've got deceleration. Same thing in the Eurozone. We have the Eurozone decelerating. So again, I wouldn't call that optimistic. But on the other hand, we're not overdoing the pessimism either. We don't think this is a recession scenario. Narwan, thanks so much for your time.